I'll, most of my email addresses are really long time, one of them 20 plus years. And so anyway, every now and then I get these spam emails. I do report them, not that there's anything they can do, but every now and then I get these spam emails that say they've taken over my account and basically that I need to send them money via Bitcoin um, or they're going to release Let's see, a video, uh, the, it reads as follows, a video of you wanking on the left screen and on the right screen, the video you are watching while now. It's probably not a word I should say. Uh, yeah. You know, first of all, no you didn't. And second of all, go ahead, because you'll probably make my channel and social media go completely viral. <laughs> Holy cow. just before 10 a.m. Sunday, August 5th, I think. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Anyway, it's gonna be in the low 80s today and it's already 70 degrees. So we are out for a morning walk because uh, God knows when it'll cool off this afternoon. We of course are taking crazy pants. We still got her, I think until tomorrow. Uh, so we're gonna go, go get it over with early. So anyway, we'll be back. Monday morning, September 6th. It's just before 9 a.m. and we are headed out for another morning walk. It is a holiday here in the U.S. It's Labor Day and so Bob has off of work. So we are going to take advantage of that. We have crazy pants one more day and so, not Bob, the dog. <laughs> um, and so we're gonna go get some morning steps and yeah, so that's a thing. Anyway, let's get to it, shall we? I'll be back. All right, so I got the vlog edited, loaded, scheduled, all the li relevant links into the video description, so we're all good. I got all the week's posts written, posted, and or scheduled to post, so that's all good. I've got some laundry going. Uh, Bob is out in the garage spending the day tiddling, tinkering, tinkering with the Barracuda putting in some soundproofing in the doors and I think he got some Barracuda emblems or logos or something he wants to put on the car. I don't know if he's doing that part today, but anyway, just a nice quiet evening at home. Hey guys, good morning. It is Tuesday, September 7th, 9.15 a.m. I normally have a coffee chat with patrons and supporters at 10 o'clock on Tuesdays. Um, I'm probably still going to have it today, but it's going to be a little later than normal because I've got to run a couple of errands and I'm not going to have my car tomorrow because it's going to be in for service, 100,000 mile checkup, timing belt replaced, checking on a couple of other things, normal maintenance stuff. Anyway, so I have to run the errands today, um, so I'm going to go do them now. I'll probably still do the... Um, coffee chat, art chat thing with the patrons um, when I get back. Um, I just told them about 11.30 or so. So, anyway.
I'm going to take the opportunity for me to be in Zoom by myself. There I am um, to just update you a little bit on my day. It is, what time is it? 2.45 p.m. It's still Tuesday, September 7th. Um, I have been sitting here all day making paper clusters. Those are finished. Um, I was sitting over there with my iPad. Uh, tried Facebook chat room first and then Zoom and I don't know, Wi-Fi was being a butt today because I usually try to do it from my iPad. So we've switched to the desktop, which is on ethernet. It seems to be a lot more stable and we're using Zoom and not the Facebook chat room. So I don't know. Anyway, uh, Leslie is coming back. I'm here by myself at the moment. She left to go change her clothes. She just got off of work. And I'll be sitting and chatting with her for a bit here and making more paper clusters, using up some stuff. And uh, got my errands done this morning. Etsy orders were out and all of that. Again, as I said last week, if you all want to see my process for making paper clusters, let me know. Um, I do use them in my artwork on my pages. I also include them in um, Etsy orders. You get one or two, usually, paper clusters in your order or other randomness from me that's not stuff you paid for, just always. Anyway, yeah, just chilling and having a relaxing day. Uh, it's hot as outside again, so I'm sure we're not getting any steps in until later today. I already have, let's see, what do I have? 3,400, that's not too bad, um, but we'll try to get some more later. Um, I have no idea if the mail's come yet. And you know, honestly, I'd rather talk to Leslie than even go look. I so, do. oh, okay. Started off the morning with a phone meeting with KP over at Art Foamies. And um, keep an eye out on um, her Facebook group and her website um, going forward starting this Friday. Um, they will be featuring their artists one at a time. And because my name starts with A, guess who's first? Um, and we'll be coming out with a couple new designs. Yay. Okay. Then I, um, uh, started cleaning. So this is all a bunch of resin stuff I'm letting go of. I also have four undecorated tumblers that if nobody wants, I'm going to just wash and use downstairs. Um, I'll clean out some stuff from downstairs. Um, next is glitter. Cause that, yeah, that's just crazy. Um, <sighs> And my car is going to be picked up for its 105,000 mile service, which is really big and involves the timing belt, the differential, thermostat, water pump. Like, it's a big deal. Probably won't get it back until tomorrow at minimum. And it's going to be expensive. So anyway, uh, in the meantime, I'm here cleaning closets and I will be editing some video. And yeah, I'm home. Can't go anywhere. I don't drive Bob's cars, so... Been a busy morning. <laughs> um, <laughs> so busy. Anyway, um, so busy. I've kind of lost track of everything that I've done, but I've edited two videos, saved them. They're loading to YouTube as we speak. I cleaned out a bunch of resin uh, supplies and glitter that I'm not using. I don't enjoy using. Uh, the resin tumblers don't sell. I've given a few away as gifts. People love them. I just don't enjoy making them and they don't sell. Um, there's too much competition or whatever. Anyway, I already sold the whole box of stuff to somebody from the neighborhood on next door, 50 bucks. And she does resin, she loves resin. She needed a, t a turner to do some cups. So glad it went to her. And by the way, Sarah showed up and um, she's a beautiful woman covered in the most beautiful tattoos that seem to be Hawaiian themed. Um, I could be wrong, but they're just gorgeous. Anyway, so glad it went to a good home. Um, car got picked up for service and what else got the dishes done uh, had a meeting with our foamies already I told you that I think and I've so much I've lost track now of everything that I, I have done. over 10,000 steps it's 82 degrees 
I'm sweaty. I'm running out of water. It's time to go home. All right, let's get there. Wow. wow. Guys, it has been a busy morning. <laughs> Um, I was busy creating a couple of photo montages for my dad for his house um, in preparation of rearranging the house for him and also in memoriam of my mom. And to be honest, to get some of the ugly pictures of the uh, of me and the rest of the kids off the wall, because some of them are my high school graduation photo. Nobody wants to see that. I don't want to see that. Anyway, so we've been working on that. I'll walk downstairs and show them to you. I did one of just my mom and dad, and then I did one of just Bob and I and our family, Rebecca, Paulius, Jenny, and Brian. Um, and then each one of the other kids is gonna do one about their family, and then dad's gonna hang them all on a wall in sort of a collage of photo collages. It'll be interesting, like a hanging wall photo album. Um, also, my car is done having its 100,000 mile checkup and it is on the way back right now, yay. Um, so that is all done, and we've got our boarding passes. Again, I'm not worried about telling y'all that because by the time you see this, I'm back. Um, but we've got our boarding passes, and I'm for the most part packed. I've got a few, throw a few things in my bag later tonight or tomorrow, and then we're off at the airport. So I think we have to leave here by eight o'clock, so. Anyway, uh, here is the one photo montage I did of my parents commemorating their life together. I know there's some glare, let's see. Oh, there, there we go, that's a little better. So that's my parents. And then, <coughs> coughing allergies, you know. <clears throat> I need a t-shirt that says it's allergies and asthma, not corona. So anyway, this is us and the kids. That's Bob and I, like 1984, 1985, <laughs> like 21 years old and 22 years old. We were so young, so young. Anyway, so those are all done. I spent the morning taking photos and getting them all printed and dealing with my printer, which was being fussy and all those things. So that is finished. That was kind of on my project list and I've been putting it off because there was just lots of other stuff to do, but we're gonna be doing a fire ceremony at my dad's um, to um, set my mom's spirit off and um, all of that stuff at the end of the month, which would have been their wedding anniversary. And so, yeah, so I wanted to get that ready and have that be done and not have to worry about it. So it is now. So I'm gonna just sit and wait for my car to show up, drink my bone broth, look at Facebook and social media and just chill for a bit. I'll be back. It is 7.24 a.m. Friday, September 10th. Yes, I know that because I've done this once already. And evidently, despite the fact that I have how many videos on my YouTube channel, I don't know how to run a camera still. Thousands. Thousands, yeah. Anyway, we are on our way to Portland International Airport. Don't have a problem telling you all that because by the time you see this, we'll be back. Um, Bob has flown since COVID started. I thought it was March 2020, but he says it was March this year. Yeah. Um, it's still been a while for him, a few months. I haven't flown since this whole thing started, since before COVID. So I don't know what to expect and things have changed since he flew. So we are a little bit ahead of schedule, but that's okay because we don't know what to expect at the airport. Plus they're doing construction. So if we get through TSA early, that's okay. We'll just sit and have a cup of coffee. Hopefully there's a coffee shop open. We also, oh, need to buy a couple of Oregon gifts for people. Yeah, we'll do that. So, we will we'll have around. time. We'll look around, yeah. All right, that's it for the minute. I'll let you know how it goes, and if I can get footage in the airport, I will, and we'll be back.
I just mentioned to Bob, it feels weird to be in an airport. And then he said for Friday morning, yeah, it's pretty empty. But, you know, here we are nonetheless. Interstate 5, just outside of Sacramento, heading to Stockton area That's and right. in and Sonora, which is where we're going to meet up with friends and stuff. And then we're headed back this way to fly home and check up on Bob's mom because she actually lives up here near Sacramento. So anyway, um, I already went to Daiso, got some shopping done. Yay. We also got some quick little small bite of something to eat at Chick-fil-A and Art Foamies is about to go live with some new designs of mine um, and they're going to have a live where they demonstrate them and talk about them and my other ones designs they already have and I am on my tablet using my hotspot for my phone in the middle of I-5 while hubby is driving I have no idea if this is gonna work, but I'm gonna to try to be in the audience. We'll find out. It ought to be interesting. I'll be back. Saturday morning, September 11th. Yes, it's that day. The anniversary of a terrible tragedy, the Twin Towers, and all the other things that happened on that day. So we will take a moment here to honor those who were caught up in that tragedy and um, Pay some respect to the families that were left behind. I distinctly remember where I was that day. I was at home. We were all getting ready for work and school. Rebecca was little then. She was in elementary school and Bob always had the news on while he was getting ready for work. And I remember him saying, oh my God, they hit the tower. And I'm like, what are you talking about? And we stood there and watched very surreal. So let's hit here, we'll take a moment of silence. I am in California still. This is our hotel room, as you can see behind me. Um, we are getting ready for our day. I've already made my bone broth. I guess the other Masonic wives and I are going out. I don't know what we're doing, but I was told I have a ticket already. I was planning on being on my own today and just maybe doing some shopping, and but okay. <laughs> I don't know. Um, I'm not going to be doing anything that gets me too sweaty because I don't have a change of clothes. This is it for the day, so... There's that. All right, Bob is taking a shower and he's getting ready and then we're gonna go grab some breakfast and then we will see what else we get up to. I'll be back. We are in Columbia, California right now, the old gold mining town. And we're walking around, it's a living museum. We're gonna go ride on a train later and I'm not sure what else we're doing, but I'll bring you with us where we can. I haven't been here in a long time, but I do like this little town, it's cute. This is the original buildings and the original Main Street. I'll be back.
Saturday evening, September 11th. It is 8 something p.m. Oh, what's that? Let me see. Uh, it's uh, 8.32. 8.32. We had a really great dinner with a bunch of friends that we haven't seen, um, some of which we haven't seen since before we moved. And it was a really great day and evening. Um, if you're watching this clip, you've seen clips of us at the train museum and we went to um, the um, Columbia um, Gold Mining Town National Park. It's not what it's called. I'll put the links for stuff down below. Um, anyway, we also went to... It's a state park, isn't it? Yeah, I think so, yeah. yeah. National Park? State Park? State Park. Thing. Anyway, I'll put links down below. Uh, we also went to a... I keep wanting to call it a brewery, but it's really an apple. It's an apple orchard, apple, orchard. apple farm. They make their own ciders and um, other uh, liquors from their fruits that they grow on their farm. And we went there, and most people, most everybody, did some tasting. I hadn't had much to eat today until I had dinner, so I didn't do that. But we also got to sit on their grounds. They have a beautiful, <coughs> excuse me, picnic area. Um, with some um, with beautiful shade and trees and we just sat around in a circle and just some talking. It was great. A really great day. A really nice week. Anyway, hope you've had a good week. I hope you're staying safe, staying healthy, staying creative. Don't forget to go out and have a great day and do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. Check out the links in the uh, video description down below for ways to support the free content, places to find me on social media, all of that stuff. Not to mention my new art homies, which are out now. All right, that's it for the minute. I'll see you next week. Bye, guys.